So on the right side we can see a MOSFET, to be exact, an NMOS transistor, and on the left side we can see a PJT or NPN type transistor. The NPN acts like NMOS as an normally open switch and PNP and PMOS act as normally closed switch. The PJT means bipolar junction transistor, MOSFET means metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. We are going to compare the NPN and the NMOS transistors. First of all, the PNP, P, PJT transistor leads are not called gate, drain and source, but are base emitter and collector but they act very similarly so base can be looked at as gate collector can be looked at as drain and an emitter can be looked at as source so if I go to the PJT right now, we can see huge amounts of current going through the transistor that would certainly kill the transistor. We can see huge gigaamps and gigawatts. The MOSFET transistor has a built-in resistance. The gate is not connected to the rest of the transistor. So the gate voltage cannot be shorted with source. But the NPN transistors, base and emitter are connected together. So the base voltage is connected to the emitter voltage. And that's why we have basically a diode that is that has the forward voltage of 5 volts and that basically is short circuiting so we need to mitigate that let's use a resistor for that and let's reset the simulation and we can see that the amps are a bit higher than on the MOSFET side, but they're close. We can change the resistance from 1K to 2K. It gets better. Let's change it to 4K. That's almost the same as the MOSFET current. And we can change the voltage to zero volts like on the switch analogy and also in here and we can see they both have basically zero amps going through although in here we can see nano amps and in here it's pico amps which is about 50,000 times smaller current going through so if that's important then yeah, they're not quite the same in that sense. Also, it, when we change the voltage, let's say change it to 2 volts and change that one to 2 volts, we can see that the current, current passing through here is a lot higher than passing through here. So we can't use a fixed resistor just to make it look like a MOSFET transistor, but in many cases there are resistors used either in the base or in the emitter lead to prevent shorting the circuit. 
So, let's look at it without the resistor. I'm going to remove the resistor and connect it right up. Already we have max current exceeded. But let's see what is the sweet spot for the current not to be exceeded. Let's change the current. Let's change it to, let's say, 1 volt. Apply and reset the simulation. And when I have 1 volt over here, which is exactly 1 volt higher than the emitter voltage, then we have the current of 2 or no, 6.2 kilo amperes, which is still huge. Let's change that voltage. Let's change it to 0. So at 0 volts, we don't have any current passing through. Let's then change it to 0.5 volts and see the current. It's some microamps. Not huge, but some microamps. Well, 0.6 volts. We have 1.2 mi milliamps, which is okay current, depending on the application, of course. And the transistor. Let's change it to 0.7 volts. We get 57 milliamps. Uh, 0.7 volts is the textbook voltage that should occur between base and the emitter. Anything above that would short the collector and emitter leads and everything below that would create a, an open between those leads theoretically in practice we can see it's more flexible but it's not as flexible as the mosfet which has the voltage higher voltage range because it's not shorted over here so i could change it from 2 volts to 20 that's 10 times and I only get quote unquote 1.6 amps but here if I change it from 0.7 to 7 uh, it would just go to kiloamps uh, but let's change it to 0.8 volts and we already get amps in here so the, without the resistor or let's say let without the resistance in the base emitter bath uh, it's really limited the control of the NPN transistor if we can try to control it with the voltage and that's why the PJTs are called current driven or current controlled current um, current controlled and uh, the MOSFETs are called uh, voltage controlled devices and thanks for watching